Hello, and welcome to Thoughts on the Way Home, where I'll be giving my thoughts on the way home from Doctor Strange, the newest Marvel superhero movie in the, uh, the MCU. Uh, Doctor Strange stars Benedict Cumberbatch as the title character, uh, Mads Mikkelsen as the Marvel movie villain who's just kind of another... He was an interesting villain, but still, Marvel has yet to uh, to match Loki in terms of uh, interesting and quality villains. Uh, Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One, uh, Doctor Strange's teacher. Chiwetel Ejiofor as Mordo, one of his fellow sorcerers. Benedict Wong as Wong, um, another sorcerer and the librarian at the temple that he trains at. Um, overall, it was an excellent, excellent Marvel movie. It was quite a departure from where Marvel has been recently in terms of, I mean, the mysticism and things like that. That's very, very different. We get a taste of that in the Thor films, considering the whole, like, magic equals science thing that goes on with the Thor films. But I feel this one finally nails the mysticism um, probably the best way. So the basic story... Um, Doctor Strange is a incredibly gifted surgeon, a neurosurgeon, gets into a car accident, his hands don't work uh, properly anymore, they, they used to be perfectly still and now they shake really, really bad and he can't properly perform surgery like he used to. Um, and after all Western medicine fails him, he learns about a guy who can, who despite being physically untreatable. There was nothing that could have been done to save him to be able to uh, walk and move basically below his neck again. Um, this guy's up and walking again and he finds out that it was through training with the Ancient One. Um, so he goes there and learns about the Mystic Arts, trains himself to become a sorcerer, um, and helps, helps save the world. Benedict Cumberbatch was definitely an an excellent choice for Doctor Strange. Um, the rest of the cast also was very well put together, um, but obviously the important one is Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, because he's going to be the one really moving forward um, in the franchise. So one thing that surprised me about this film was actually the amount of humor in this one. This uh, is probably one of the more humorous uh, MCU films, definitely. Uh, now, not quite as humorous as Guardians of the Galaxy, but definitely uh, there was quite a bit of humor and kind of was surprised at Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, comedic timing, considering he almost always plays the, the dour, serious character. Uh, and he definitely got to play a little Sherlock Holmes at the beginning with being kind of an arrogant jerk. Um... The, there were some faults with the movie. Um, I definitely felt, you know, I definitely understand you can't show him actually training for weeks and months and however long he actually trains for, uh, but that did seem a little bit rushed. It did, he did seem to get it fairly quickly. Um, and again, the villain, they, I mean, they made an attempt. He's definitely not the worst villain they've had on screen but it was all right but overall you know i enjoyed i enjoyed dr strange i think it's an excellent addition to the uh the marvel cinematic universe maybe not as good as civil war this year but definitely uh definitely an excellent superhero movie definitely a good one to check out i highly recommend uh going to see dr strange and those have been my thoughts on the way home from dr strange